Happy New Year everyone, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the channel. So, before we kick this video off, I just wanted to say I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, I hope you all had a lovely New Year's Eve. I've still got my Christmas tree up, as you can see. Probably should take that down, shouldn't I? Hey, January the 1st, mate. You need to take that down. So this video is quickly becoming a little tradition over on my channel. On the 1st of January, I did it last year. I reached out to Twitter, asked everyone who follows me on over there to use the hashtag AskSeanOC. Got everyone to tweet me in those questions, so let's see what people said, shall we? Ryan Hammond asked, are you finally going to get Chi Chi next year? Those of you who are like, who the blooming hell is Chi Chi? Chi Chi is mine and Poppy's imaginary name for our dog. That sounds so weird me saying that. Like, we've got this little imaginary dog. We don't. We just basically said, if we ever get a dog, preferably a French bulldog when we do get one, we're gonna name him Chi Chi. Oh, I wanna get a dog so much. I wanna get a dog so much, but we're living in a flat at the moment. It just wouldn't be fair to have a little doggy because we don't have a garden for them to run around. So as soon as we upsize, as soon as we get a house, then maybe, fingers crossed, we'll get a little Chi Chi to run around. This is a good one because I used to always um, create playlists on Spotify uh, and I want to get into it more this year. My favorite track at the moment is on Jaden Smith's new album, Sire. It is called George Jeff. There's a few tracks on there that I'm, I, pre I love the whole album, but that's one song that stands out to me. So if you haven't checked that out, I suggest you go check it out because it's a brilliant album. Ah, will I get a car in 2018? I'm flipping useless, aren't I? I passed my test like a year and a half ago and Poppy still being my taxi driver, drive me around everywhere. This year, I need to sort out the insurance. I don't need to get my own car because we can share the car. I'll share Poppy's car, um, but I need to get the insurance. So another thing you can go comment is just say, Sean, sort your bloody life out, mate. Sort your car out, get insured, start driving about. Think of all the places that you could take your vlogs. Just get insured on the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting deep. I need to take another sip, sip of my coffee. This is one question, okay, that propped up a lot from everyone that tweeted in. Tasha asked, when do you think you'll feel ready for, prof for profiteroles? <laughs> when do you think you're ready? When do you bloody it how short speak? When do you think you'll feel ready for profiteroles? <laughs> Proposals, there we go. Children and marriage. We've been together for nine years this month. Damn. We've been together a hell of a long time and we've had conversations about like marriage and kids. I can't wait to have kids. Um, but the truth is like we're in no rush. We've been together a long time. We don't need to rush into marriage. We're very much focused on our careers. Like I've got YouTube going on, Poppy's got a vlog going on. Um, yeah, we're just loving life at the moment and there's no need to rush into um, getting married. One day, one day. That's another thing as well, talking about kids. Basically, Poppy's mum's a twin. My dad's a twin, like identical twin. So I don't know how factual this is, but apparently it skips a generation. So hello, maybe we're gonna end up having like quadtuplets or something, not even twins. Me and Poppy will end up having like four, four kids <laughs> all at once. Imagine like a little me running around. I'm crazy, I'm hyper, I'm all over the place. I won't shut up. Imagine four mini me's just running around. Poppy, uh, we'll do Poppy's head in. <laughs> this is a good one. This is where I should have started this New Year's Q&A. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? <clears throat> to stop burping on camera. I have been on about exercising and going back to boxing. Cause when I was younger, I used to box and train in boxing and I was so fit, I was so healthy and I don't do I, I don't do any of that anymore. And I know it's so cliche to talk about going to the gym, getting fit, eating healthy uh, for a New Year's resolution. But guys, 2018 
needs to be my year where I put effort into eating healthy and getting fit and being more active. Even if it's like getting a bike and going cycling for like half an hour every other day. I just need to get out of the house, get active, get moving and get fit because I'm not getting any younger and I need that fit body, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's another point where we can start a conversation down below in the comment section. Write down anything that you've been thinking about what you want to achieve this year, any resolutions that you want to make sure that you're hitting and you want to do, and you guys can start a conversation with each other as well if you wanted to help each other out or be like, oh wow, that's a great resolution, I, I never thought of that, I'm going to take that on board. Go down, let's start a conversation. Caitlin asked, what do you do for a hobby other than YouTube? Is Netflix a hobby? because I am the professional Netflix hobbyist. When I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm stuck on Netflix. So that's my hobby, making it my personal mission to watch everything on Netflix. Seriously, you guys know I have like an obsession with clothes, style, trainers. So I guess a hobby away from YouTube, but it's also a massive part of YouTube and also a massive part of my Insta stories is crep check. So Trainers and clothes and streetwear for me is a huge hobby because I'm always like researching what's coming up or what's what's coming out in the near future in terms of like trainer releases and stuff. So I guess you can count that as a hobby outside of YouTube. My trainer session thrives. What is why <laughs> why is your biggest goal in life? So my biggest goal in life is to build a foundation, a home for my family, have some beautiful kids running around, be happy with Poppy in our house, with Chi Chi, <laughs> and yeah, just enjoying life, grasping at the moments, going traveling, and seeing the world, and being able to help people as well is a massive one for me. Again, as cliche as it sounds, but it's true, that's why I'm saying it, is be happy, have a healthy family, and make sure that I'm helping others do exactly the same. Luke Biggs. Luke, you asked, what did you do after college or uni? I'm leaving year 11 in July and wondered whether to get an apprenticeship or college placement in professional chefs. Please help. As you may know, I went to uni, I went to Kingston Uni, but after I finished college, I did a another year, it was called the Art Foundation course, and I had to do that to give me the opportunity to go to university. I can't remember what, how, how it all works or how many points you need to get, but basically I used that year of uh, the Art Foundation course as like a gateway to apply to different art unis. Whilst I was at Foundation, I was also working two jobs because I wanted to save up enough cash to be able to go traveling uh, before I went to uni. So I actually deferred a year by saying I deferred, basically I just postponed going to uni for another year after the foundation course so I could go traveling. I guess the best advice I can give you, if you don't have any ideas about going, maybe traveling or saving up, I'd go, I'd go for it. What an amazing skill to, to have as a professional chef, being able to cook whatever you want, make it look amazing. I envy people that uh, are amazing at cooking. I can't cook to save my life. If that's something you wanna do and something you wanna achieve, just go for it, man. Go on that course, find out as much information about different courses that you can do and just do it. But also, I should say, don't be worried. Like, you're super young. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You'll figure it out. Right, Shivani, you've caught me. Do you genuinely commit to your New Year's resolutions all through the year? I mean, I'd be really impressed if everyone committed to all their New Year's resolutions the whole year. Has anyone done that? If any of you have ever stuck to your resolutions that you've made on the 1st of January and carried them all through the year, please let me know because you need to share your wisdom with me. It's hard. It's hard to maintain those goals. It's easy to say, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym every week for the next year. Um, yeah, I'm gonna smash it, I'm gonna get super fit. 
share your wisdom if you've done that. Share your wisdom if you stuck to those goals because I need to know how to do that. Right, Monica, you asked, how would you, how would go your perfect ideal day? So, imagine this, waking up, having a lay in, going from the bed, dragging the duvet into the living room, throwing it on the sofa, getting under that duvet, cuddling up, watching as much films as I can fit into that day, and then ordering a, a takeaway and have it for dinner whilst watching films. That sounds like the perfect day to me. I probably should have said something like, the perfect ideal day would be like, get up early, get on that aeroplane, go to some amazing place in the world and experience some amazing things. But my perfect ideal, ideal, I need to start speaking properly. My perfect ideal day would be have a sofa day. Jamie, you asked, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I've been to like Australia, I've traveled to New York and America and Amsterdam, and there's still so many different places which I want to visit, but I truly believe that Brighton was such a great place to be growing up, such a great place to have a family and bring my bring kids up here. So if I could live anywhere in the world, if I could end up and live anywhere in the world, I honestly would say Brighton. It's such a cool city, there's so much going on, and we're right by the beach. How amazing. In the summer, barbecues on the beach. In the winter, brisk walks along the, on, along the promenade, which is just like the big walkway along the whole beach. It's, it's a really nice place to be. Jamie, you also sent through quite a few questions, so let's go for another one, shall we? What's one thing that you'd like to improve about yourself? There's a lot of things. <laughs> but there's one thing that I wish I am, I'm trying to improve about myself, and that is organization. Working for yourself is one thing, but having to manage your own time, arrange your life, plan, I am useless at all of that. I'm so bad at planning, I'm so bad at organisation, but it's something that I'm working on, I'm getting better at it. So yeah, this year is the year where Sean kicks himself up the bum and gets organised. Another question which a ton of you were asking on Twitter, Aidan Gomez wrote, any merch coming out in 2018? You're hearing it here first, lads. And ladies, I've been working on some stuff for a long time now. And uh, the reason why you haven't seen anything yet is because I wanna make it amazing. I wanna be make it the best it possibly can be. And for that to happen, it's just gonna take a little while. So I'm, I'm working on things. There will be some stuff because I know a hell of a lot of you are as passionate about your style, your clothes, the way you style your outfits as me. And what an amazing thing to have, for me personally, is to be able to bring out my own clothing or my own merchandise. It's just a, a pure passion of mine and definite life goal is to one day design clothes and, um, yeah, so there'll be, a, there'll be little tasters popping up soon. Stay tuned. I'm trying to make it amazing. It just means that it's going to take a little while. So, 2018, guys, there'll be some stuff. Emma wrote, what are you mostly looking forward to in 2018? A lot of my friends are getting married this year. Some of their weddings are abroad. So I'm looking forward to share the moments with friends. Definitely traveling to new places as well. There's a couple of places on the cards where me and Poppy have been talking about going. So that's exciting. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going yet. I'll leave it as a surprise because I'll be definitely vlogging in these places. Coming up with some great stuff, I'm sure. So yeah, the, the thing that I'm most looking forward to in 2018 is just seeing more of the world going on going on some travels, seeing some new places, going to places that I've never been. So that is a huge uh, thing for me, what I'm looking forward to, but also sharing 
and some cool merchandise with you guys, let's be honest. Right, next question, we're coming towards the end, so thank you for sticking with me. This has been a super chilled out video to make for me and I've enjoyed it, it's been, it's been good fun. So maybe you can let me know if you wanna see more just chatty, chilled out videos like this and we can see what we can come up with. But next question is from Amy Young. I sent uh, my customised vans that I made on this channel, I sent them to Amy Young and you've tweeted asking a question. So what did you ask? You asked, what's your favourite part of making YouTube videos? So my pav- my pavement. <laughs> my favourite part um, of making these videos is, one, obviously I'm creating memories that I can look back on, um, especially with the vlogs, they're like diaries aren't they essentially, personal diaries that obviously I share with you guys and you really enjoy them but it's great for me to have like this bank of videos which I can look back on when I'm older and kind of relive those moments and those good times that I had. So that's what I love about making the videos but I also love interacting with you lot. I love seeing comments like even meeting you guys in the street, it's like, you'll come up to me and you'll say, hey, how's it going? Thank you for making this content. Thank you for making these great videos. And I'm like, no worries guys, like I love doing it and I love being able to make you guys happy. But I, what I find so rewarding about um, doing what I do is, sometimes I get comments or sometimes I get people who come up to me and they're like, Sean, they say, they say thank you, you guys say thank you. And you're like, and I'm like why, why are you thanking me? And you're like, I've had a really bad week or it's been a little bit rough the past month but I, I've been loving your content and I love just watching, watching your vlogs and following you about and you put a smile on my face. So what I find most rewarding about what I do now is creating these videos, putting smiles on your guys' faces and yeah, just making you laugh and making you happy. So thank you. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you guys, thank you for watching and thank you for writing really kind comments and always staying positive, thank you. I think that's a nice part to stop in this video, just saying thank you, I think that's a nice little point to stop, so yeah, if you don't already, smash that subscribe button. This year is gonna get real interesting, I promise you. I'm gonna get more experimental with these videos. I'm gonna smash the content on this channel. And yeah, I want you guys to experience everything with me. Come back and watch these videos. Let's smash 2018 together. Make sure you go down and comment, and start a little conversation. I am gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for watching this video, guys. It means a lot to me. And I will see you real soon with another video. 2018. It's a big year for Sean Elliott OC. See you soon, guys.